In this video, we're going to have a look at some more equations with fractions. Solve x, example 1. Here, once again, my first step will be to write everything in fraction form and then to get the common denominator on both sides. And in this case, that will be 6. On the left hand side, my first fraction's denominator has to be multiplied by 2 to form 6. So the numerator also has to be multiplied by 2. Here it is very important to remember that the whole numerator, 3x minus 4, has to be multiplied by 2. Similarly, for the second fraction, I multiply the denominator by 3, and to form that equivalent fraction, I do the same at the top. So the whole x minus 2 has to be multiplied by 3. Here, it is then also important to remember that the minus in front of that fraction also has to be multiplied in. And on the right hand side, the denominator is a 1, and I still have to multiply by 6, and that will give me 6 over 6. Now, the denominators are the same, and in my next step, I can say that the numerator on the left is equal to the numerator on the right. Now we need to get rid of the brackets by multiplying in the 2 in the first bracket to get 6x minus 8 and then the minus 3 in the second bracket to get minus 3x plus 6. If you are unsure about these first few steps, go and watch the video on simplifying fractions. Adding up my like terms on the left hand side means that I will have 3x and on the right I already have 6. And the minus 8 will be added on the right, and the plus 6 will be subtracted. This means that we now have 3x is equal to 8, and once I've divided both sides by 3, the final answer will be x is equal to 8 over 3. In example 2, the common denominator will be 12, and we need to change the fractions accordingly. In the first fraction, the denominator still has to be multiplied by 4, and that means I will have to multiply 4 by 2x plus 1. In the second fraction, the denominator is multiplied by 2, so that means we will have minus 2x in the numerator. The right-hand side's denominator is multiplied by 3, so I will have to multiply 3 with the 2x plus 3. Now that the denominators are the same, I'm going to work only with the numerators and now I have to multiply the 4 in to get 8x plus 4 and then there's also the minus 2x on the left. On the right, I'm going to multiply in the 3 to get 6x plus 9. In the next step, I'm going to get all the variables on the same side, so I will have 8x minus the 2x, and then I will subtract the 6x on the left. On the right, I'm going to keep the 9 there, and the plus 4 will be subtracted on the right. This means that we are left with 0x is equal to 5. 0 times anything is still 0, so we have 0 equals 5. This is simply impossible, so in this case, there's no solution for x. So for this example, it is impossible for the left-hand side to ever be equal to the right-hand side. In example 3, we now also have variables in the denominator, but our first step is still to get the common denominator, and in this case, that denominator will be 1x. So for my first fraction, I still need to multiply the denominator by x, and when I repeat that at the top, I will have 7x. The second fraction is already on x, so the numerator stays the same, and that also applies to the right-hand side. The numerator stays 5x plus 5 because it's already on x. And because our two denominators are now the same, we can say that the numerator on the left is equal to the numerator on the right. When I now get my variables on the left, I will subtract 5x, and to get the constants on the right, I will have to subtract 5. So here we are left with 2x is equal 
to 0. And once you divide both sides by 2, you will have your final answer of x is equal to 0. Usually, an answer of x is 0 is acceptable. But as soon as you also have variables in your denominator, it is very important that you test your answer. If we now go and substitute our solution for x into the original equation, we will have 0 in the denominator. 0 in the denominator forms an undefined equation. So x is not allowed to be equal to 0, which means there is no solution for this equation.